Hello and welcome to the Model P31 Wellness Podcast. I'm Bridget McCray and I am super excited you're listening today. In each episode on this podcast, I'll be sharing practical ideas to help on our journeys to wellness as a whole. Think of this as Encouragement Central. So let's get started. During our time today, we'll talk about making a plan. So just real talk, at the first of the year, we make these ginormous resolutions about lots of things, but normally part of that is going to include our health. We want to have a new year and a new you and, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds in one month. Okay, let's talk about that. If we don't have a plan, it's not very likely to succeed, right? So, and besides, on another note, 50 pounds in one month is not very realistic. So we'll talk about that as well. Before we continue, I want to say for your own safety, before you make any adjustments to your dietary habits or your physical activity habits, consult with your physician. All right. Super important. Okay, so let's dive in. Now, back to having a plan. How will we know if we're even on target for what we're trying to do without a plan? So today we're going to talk about a principle from a very important book, the Bible. And you may or may not believe the Bible, and that's okay. But this particular principle, I just wanted to share it with you today. It's from the book of Habakkuk, from chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, where it talks about the Lord instructing the prophet to write his answer plainly, which is a vision to come to pass in the future, and to wait patiently for it, though it may seem slow in coming. So there are just a couple of principles I wanted to talk about as it pertains to our physical wellness today uh, from this particular passage. So the first thing would be to write it down, whether it's paper and pen, like the old school way, or if you have a phone that has notes in it or a tablet, The idea is to keep those words before you, in front of you, to remind you of what you're wanting to achieve. The second thing would be to remember that it will not happen overnight. We didn't get where we are in one day, so it's not going to change without a miracle. And I do believe those still happen, but it's typically not going to happen overnight or in one day. It takes time, even though we want to blink our eyes and poof, see a change, right? That's just our human nature. We want what we want, when we want it, how we want it. Just keeping it 100, and I'm pretty sure it's not just me. (laughs) So the third thing is, that it will come to pass. But again, back to the second point, it does take time without a miracle. So I want to encourage you to focus on the word consistency as opposed to the word perfection. Sometimes we have this notion that if we don't dot every I and cross every T, that it's not going to happen. We have to be perfect. Our eating has to be on point every single day and we have to do however many minutes of exercise every single day in order to reach our goals. Depends on what your goals are, but just for generally trying to make some positive changes in your health, that doesn't have to be the thing. 
It's just establishing consistency, establishing a habit that's workable for you. So I'm going to share, and these are things that I've done in my own journey. Um, I have been on my journey going on seven years now, and these things have been so effective, really and truly. So I just want to share some action steps as well. So the first one would be to make a specific and realistic plan. Specific and realistic. 50 pounds in one month is not realistic, though that's specific, okay? Also, in the first episode, we talked about your why. That's going to be an important part to keep in mind as you make this specific and realistic plan. Secondly, I would like to suggest put that plan where you can see it daily or even hourly if need be, okay? Keep it before your eyes. Number three, consider sharing your plan with a trusted friend for accountability. Sometimes we can, if we're not careful, we can do our own thing and then we get so frustrated when we don't reach our plans, but we haven't given anybody permission, honestly, to get in our faces and say, you know, you said you wanted to do this and you gave me permission to help you do this. So that's what I'm going to do. So no, You're not going to eat that whatever uh, 2,000 calorie meal, whatever that is for you that might be your favorite. You're not going to do that today. Or maybe come up with another way to go about handling your favorite whatever that is. But just again, giving that person permission to hold you accountable to what you said you want to do. Okay, so the fourth action step, I would challenge you to do one thing today to move toward that goal. Just one thing. Okay, when we see victory in those small steps, we can be encouraged to move and take bigger steps forward. And fifthly, For those who are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, ask the Lord for his help. Ask him to show you the right person to coach you through this journey that may be new to you or maybe you've been on the journey before, but you fell off the wagon for whatever reason. Ask him for that person to help you. I tell you what. I am so thankful that I had somebody to help me, to coach me. She truly was and still is a godsend in my health, not only my physical health, but my mental health, my emotional health, as well as my spiritual health. And we'll talk about those things in different podcasts. But again, as I said at the beginning, I'll be sharing practical ideas on helping our wellness as a whole because we are not just physical beings. So anyway, again, as a reminder for your own safety, before you make changes to your dietary habits, your physical activity habits, consult with your physician Maybe you're on medication, maybe you're not. I don't know your medical history and I don't need to know. But again, for your safety, make sure you check with your doctor before you make any of those types of changes. So again, the things that I've mentioned are things that I've used on my own journey. Again, I have been on this journey almost seven years now, and these things have been very, very effective. My weight does not yo-yo. If you remember from the, from the previous episode, weight loss was never my 
goal, but it did happen as a result of making small changes in my diet and physical activity. So I want to thank you right now. I want to thank you for listening. It makes my heart happy because the fact that you're listening tells me that you want to do something different in your health. You want to see some things differently than what you've been seeing, and maybe you're not sure how to go about it. That was me almost seven years ago, and here I am now getting the having the privilege to be able to encourage others that if I can do it, and again, starting in my mid-40s, if I can do it, you can do it too. You can do it. I am living proof. So again, thank you for listening today. I want to encourage you to go to modelp31wellness.com slash podcast dash promo for special product offers just for my podcast listeners. And I think you'll find some tools that will help you on your journey to being a healthier you. So I'm so glad you took the time today to invest in your health. Thank you so much for listening and always remember that you are worth the investment. Thanks again for listening and we'll be with you. Look forward to being with you the next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.